out of every player in the NBA is Anthony Edwards being compared to Michael Jordan. What made NBA Hall of Famer Kevin Garnett say this? I'm gonna put my bread on young fella. Well, well, you see like a young 84 Jordan, boy. You hear me? And going even further, what has made the man himself, Michael Jordan, tell Chris Broussard? I reached out to the GOAT himself, and he told me he does indeed see the similarities in his game and Anthony Edwards' game. Michael Jordan himself sees similarities in their games. Very interesting. What's up, guys? Mike here. And recently, a lot of people have been comparing Anthony Edwards to Michael Jordan, but I think Anthony Edwards' own words here will calm the storm a bit. I think he's right, for sure. 84 Jordan. Can you say 96, 97? Say 84. You know, he's, he's finding himself, so. You know, I, like I agree with that. Yes, 84 Jordan, not prime Jordan. And also recently on a podcast with Complex, Anthony Edwards said this. You could be the next Michael Jordan. When you hear comparisons like that, what comes to mind for you? I just want him to stop. Do you feel like MJ could guard you? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> No. So let's stop the exaggerations ourselves. Let's listen to Ant. Let's let him be his own man, because even if he never reaches the level of Michael Jordan, the greatest player of all time, the Michael Jordan conversation is clouding the fact that Anthony Edwards is on track to be in the MVP discussion and the number one guy on a championship contender for years to come. We need to remember, Anthony Edwards is only 22 years old and already has the Timberwolves near the top of the Western Conference, which is much more impressive than you might think. The Wolves have quite literally been one of the worst frames franchises in all of NBA history, as after Ant's rookie year, they were a team that had made the playoffs just once in 17 seasons, but now Minnesota is going to make the postseason for the third straight year. The Timberwolves have never reached the NBA Finals. They've only won two playoff series ever, which happened in a single playoff run back in 2004, where they made the Western Conference Finals with MVP Kevin Garnett. So it is safe to say that nobody saw the Wolves rapid rise to the top of the West coming, but that is because nobody thought Anthony Edwards would have this much impact on his team this early in his career. Right now, out of everyone in the NBA who is 22 years old or younger, Ant is leading the way with 26.4 points per game and he is fifth in assists with 5.2. These numbers for this age are historic, as at the age of 22, if we include Ant, only seven players in NBA history have averaged at least 25 points, five assists, and five rebounds per game. And all of these players are either NBA legends, current superstars, or John ja Morant, who we're still hoping comes back to greatness. Luka Doncic and Jason Tatum have been unreal for their ages. They are the clear-cut next up MVP candidates, but the deeper we dig into Anthony Edwards' game, the more the stats show us that he is truly on pace to become an NBA legend. When it comes to NBA stat comparisons, what's often left out is a player's defensive impact on the court, the true mark of a two-way superstar who can lead you to a championship. And Ant's playoff numbers have shown that, but we're going to get to that in a bit. But guys, before we continue, I am very excited excited to thank SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. Because of course, as you already know, the NBA season has been crazy. We've already had some incredible buzzer beaters, some wild on the court moments. Yes, SeatGeek, the place where I personally buy my tickets, which means you may have noticed that currently Drake is on tour, Drake. And luckily SeatGeek is hooking us up. They're giving us a special deal where no matter what, if you're a new SeatGeek customer or not, you can use code Mike10 for 10% off any concert you buy buy on Seeky. That's right, code Mike 10 works no matter what. You could have bought a million tickets on Seeky before this. Mike 10 is going to get you 10% off your next order. So take out your phone, open the Seeky app, add code Mike 10, get 10% off. This is a no brainer to me. That is code Mike 10 for 10% off of your next order. Thank you again to Seeky for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back into that video. For now, let's take a look at the fact that as a young guard, Anthony Edwards is already 12th in the NBA in defensive rating and third in defensive win share. Now, Ant might want the Jordan comparisons to stop, but there is a reason they have been popping up. Both Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant were seen as two of the greatest to ever play because of their offensive dominance as well as their defensive stardom. And the thing about Ant is he is shockingly outpacing both of these greats in defensive impact at his age. As while Michael Jordan retired as one of the best defensive guards of all time, it took him until the age of 24 to be ranked in the top 20 in the league in defensive rating, and that's 
season, he would finish third in defensive win shares comparable to Ant. That same season, he would also be named the 1988 Defensive Player of the Year, one of only eight guards in NBA history to win that award. Mike would be named to the All-Defensive Team nine times, which Kobe Bryant would actually best him in, as Kobe was named All-Defense 12 times. However, in terms of advanced stats, Kobe only had one single season in his career where he was top 20 in defensive rating, and his highest ranking for defensive win share was in the year 2000, where he finished 10th. So when we see plays such as this, Pacers right, have a chance. Down. Up ahead, Neesmith, blocked! Edwards getting up, and good night! I mean, oh, Anthony Edwards he hit his head under the backboard. That is one of the most incredible plays you'll ever see. While this play in itself is amazing, what's even better is that the stats behind it do not lie. As a perimeter defender, Ant's advanced stats are already showing he is one of the best in the league. And this has come from a relentless work ethic that not only has included countless hours in the gym, but also studying game film to become the best player he can possibly become. But where did this desire to never stop improving come from? Of course, part of it was from Ant all along, but if we listen to what Steve Kerr said to Anthony Edwards during their 2020 NBA draft workout, we can find some shocking insight. I was going through the drills and he kept stopping them like, that's all you got, that's all you got. And I'm like, bro, I'm going hard as you want me to go. Like, what you want me to do? He like, man, you got to see Steph and KD and Clay work out. We, if we had the number one pick, we wouldn't take you. And I think after that, man, it's just, I became a madman in the gym. I try to work till I'm tired, I'm exhausted. This kind of determination is scary when we combine the God-given athleticism that Anthony Edwards possesses. Some players coast when they have a 42-inch vertical and has done the complete opposite, despite the fact that he certainly has some of the best highlights we have ever seen. That might sound like an exaggeration, but it is not. His rookie season he won dunk of the year over poor Yuta Watanabe. Ooh, they were lucky that wasn't turned over. Anthony Edwards that time he does finish with the exclamation point. After Jimmy Butler got into his face during a game against the Heat, Ant responded with this dunk over an unsuspecting Gabe Vincent. Ant off the feed and Anthony Edwards showing that Ant can kill. Anthony Edwards just Absolutely destroyed Gabe Vincent on that play. And recently, Ant injured both himself and John Collins on this play that he said gave himself chills as he always dreamed of dunking on a player like this. Another turnover for Utah. Edwards gets it back and threw it down. And one from the Raptors. Ant would dislocate his finger. John Collins was ruled out of this game with a concussion protocol to add injury to insult. But going back to the trash talk here, another part of what makes Anthony Edwards so special is he truly wants the smoke from anyone, including future NBA Hall of Famers. Against Draymond Green, Ant would tell him, And he, of course, would proceed to back this up with a six-point Timberwolves win. But many would say that Draymond has seen better days. To me, the most impressive was Ant having the audacity to go up to Kawhi Leonard and tell him this. To which Ant again backed up everything he said, he outplayed Kawhi as the Wolves won by four and Ant scored 33 points in the process. However, the most impressive thing about Anthony Edwards is something we have not yet gotten into. The fact that he has shown he can be a true playoff superstar. Listen to what Bruce Brown of the Championship Nuggets had to say about Ant after their playoff series last year. Ant was going OD though. Ant Problem. is OD. I is would say this year the toughest player to guard was Ant and Shea. Ant was cooking. Cooking. Every, doing everything though all three levels. In both of his playoff runs, Ant's stats have risen tremendously, as last season, he went from averaging 24.6 points, 4.4 assists, 5.8 rebounds, 1.6 steals, and 0.7 blocks a game to 31.6 points, 5.2 assists, 5 rebounds, 1.8 steals, and 2 blocks a game against, again, the future NBA champions. Not only is raising your game when the lights shine the brightest one of the biggest marks of a true NBA star, Jimmy Butler has built his entire reputation on this, but also 
Also, it needs to be emphasized that against the highest level of competition possible, Anthony Edwards performed at an extraordinary level as throughout the history of the league, only four players have averaged at least 30 points, five assists, and five rebounds per game at the age of 21 in the NBA playoffs. Those four men are Ant, Luka, LeBron, and T-Mac. And going further here, we see that in the post-merger era, these stats have only been accomplished by 14 players ever. On top of this, part of the reason why people have made the claim that Ant is like a young Michael Jordan is because of his willingness to take the last shot. At this young of an age, Ant wants to be the one who is responsible for if his team wins or loses. We saw this in game four against the Nuggets in the 2023 playoffs, where Ant made a number of key plays down the stretch, but none were more important than this. Gordon defends on a switch, crossover, three, he got it! This kid is a live wire. Fearless, this young man, unafraid of the moment, wants the responsibility when his team needs him most. With this shot, Ant helped Minnesota avoid a sweep and then using this momentum, the Timberwolves almost beat Denver as with two minutes and 20 seconds left. Ant would feed Nikhil Alexander Walker for a three, then on the next possession, he would tie the game, which eventually led to this. Finally gets it to him, Edwards launches. No, and Denver survives. His first missed opportunity at greatness, but as we know, a rookie Kobe Bryant once airballed four clutch shots in five minutes against the Utah Jazz in the playoffs, sending the Lakers home, and Kobe came back to become one of the greatest of all time. What is to say Anthony Edwards won't do the same? Thank you for watching. If you're already subscribed, you're awesome. We all know it. If you're not, please subscribe, hit the bell, and I really think you'll love one of these videos that's on the screen that are similar to this one. Have a great day. Peace.